No, I'm not going to use a stethoscope for this one. It's not a medical video. Hey everyone, my name's Dev, and I'm a third year medical student at Imperial College London. Now, I often struggle to be productive, especially when I'm at home or in quarantine like I am now, and it's something that I've been trying very hard to improve upon since I started university about three years ago. A lot of study YouTubers give advice that it's quite difficult to act upon because of the mindset that they have. It's very different to what you as the viewer may have. So today, I'm going to go over some tips that I use to be more productive. And as a person that gets distracted very easily, the tips that I'm about to give you guys will be more applicable because if these tips work for me, then I'm sure at least one of them can get you off your phone and be more motivated in order to accomplish the tasks at hand. So we're going to start off quite simple. Number one is to make a to-do list. Now making a to-do list before the day is really useful because it's a clear way of knowing what you have to do that day. Checking off things as you finish them gives a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment, making you want to check off more things. If you want to step it up a notch, set deadlines for the time slots that you want to get them done by. For this, I use Google Keep Notes. It's very simple to use and ideal especially if you have multiple devices from different brands. A cross device app is essential as it means that I can access it on my phone, my iPad or my laptop. Number two. Clean environment equals a clean mind. I often get lazy and let things pile up on my desk or in my room. The human mind, however amazing it is, is constantly searching for distractions. And so when there's no unnecessary clutter, not that there's a type of necessary clutter anyway, but uh, when there's no unnecessary clutter, uh, not only does it make you feel better psychologically, but it also allows you to concentrate more effectively on the current task. It's important, however, that you don't replace working with tidying up, which is another way that people often procrastinate. The third thing on my list is exercise. Now, I can't stress how important it is to exercise, and it's backed up by so many studies which I'm sure that you know. Exercising will help clear out your mind and keep you thinking straight. In my case scenario, after gyms closed, I stopped exercising and started to suffer weaknesses and a drop in my strength which then made me more stressed about that rather than focusing on my exam which was coming up. Therefore I urge you to not make the same mistake and do at least something to maintain your fitness levels, whether that's a 20 minute walk or deadlifting your fridge. But seriously, do something, whatever it is in your capacity. The fourth thing on my list is the Pomodoro technique. It means tomato in Italian. And it's called that way because the legend who came up with it had a timer in the shape of a tomato, mad. Now contrary to popular belief, you don't actually need a tomato clock in order to use this technique. So the six steps of the Pomodoro technique are listed here. Number one, decide on the task to be done. Number two, set the tomato timer to 25 minutes. Number three, work on the task. Number four, stop your work when the timer rings and then put a tick on the piece of paper. Number five, if you have fewer than four ticks, you take a short break, roughly three to five minutes, then go back to step two and then repeat it. And finally, number six, after four Pomodoros, take a longer break, which is about 15 to 30 minutes. Then reset your tick count to zero and go back to step one. The goal is to decrease the impact of internal and external interruptions on focus and flow of your work. Now, Wikipedia says that if you get interrupted in between the task, to abandon the task completely. But I wouldn't recommend this because it seems counterintuitive. 25 minutes is also a guide. If you find it more useful, then increase the time or decrease it as necessary, whatever helps your workflow. Number five is learn to say no. Now let's practice it together. Three, two, one. You didn't say it, did you? You he naughty, 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 you're teasing, teasing me. Naughty, yeah. naughty. <laughs> Focus on what's important to you at a single point of time. Now I'll use a real life example that I often face. My brother comes in asking if I want to play some video games with the boys, and I really want to, but I know that my exam's in a few days so I should focus on that instead. Simple right? But in practice it's a lot more difficult than that. There'll be time for games later in my break or after the exam is done. In my research I found that this is actually backed up by a study performed by California University, which stated that the harder a person finds to say no, the more likely he or she is to encounter stress and depression because of the consequences. The sixth thing on my list is to use the app called Hold. Now I'm not sponsored by Holt, although Holt, if you're watching this, who am I kidding, of course you are, sponsor me please. The app basically allows you to avoid distractions on your phone. It sets a countdown timer which you can't use your phone in. And if you use your phone, you lose the points that you just accumulated and it resets your timer. The points that you gain from this can be used to redeem free stuff like cinema tickets and popcorn at view. And what's better, it's all free, so why not jump on the bandwagon? The seventh thing on my list is to not multitask. This is something I fall victim to all the time, as all the other things. 
I'll start doing cardiovascular systems and then I'll see how far I've fallen behind in like GI then I'm like oh I'll do some flashcards then I'm like oh let's watch a video while making notes so basically what I'm trying to get at here is don't try and do multiple things at once focus on one thing at one time a study from Stanford University confirmed that multitasking actually leads to decreased productivity than single tasking that's even a word a person receiving multiple streams of information shoved at them can't concentrate effectively or recall any of that information Therefore, focusing on one thing at one time has been shown to be more effective. The next thing on my list is to work earlier rather than later. Now this might just be common sense, but it applies specifically to night owls, which I consider myself to be. If I have breakfast, I'll be watching an episode of a show, and then I come upstairs and then I'm like, let's watch another episode, and then I'm like, let's watch a YouTube video. And then when I look at the time, it says 3 o'clock. So my point is to start earlier in the morning so that when you feel like taking a break, you've already done some work and then you can binge watch Devify without feeling guilty. If you start later on in the day, you're going to get tired towards the end of the evening and then you're going to be like, oh I can't be asked to do something. And that means that you only got basically one or two hours worth of productivity time in the daytime, which is not really worth it. The ninth and final thing on my list is to be realistic. Now, if you fall behind, don't get into the trap where you say you'll do 50 things every day for the next two weeks till the exam. You'll get overwhelmed and then end up missing half of those things, which then piles up onto the next day. And then you miss them again and then it piles up on the next day. And then it just becomes an endless cycle. It just creates unnecessary stress. And when you look at your list, you see that you're not getting stuff done and it's half empty. And then you, you know, it piles up even more and now you have anxiety. I literally got anxiety while saying these things. Now, these have been some of the productivity tips that I use when I want to be productive. Now just to reiterate, I find it very difficult to be productive sometimes, so I want you to at least use one of these tips and incorporate it into your workflow and let me down and let me know in the comments down below if any of these has helped you out. It's been Devify, I'm out.